It's a great time. As soon as you walk in here, you feel immediately welcomed and people are just talking to each other, whether they know each other or not. And that is exactly what the owner, Deb, planned. And listen, we were talking about a Krispy Kreme story a minute ago. I think you have something better than a Krispy Kreme here. <laughs> what is this that you just whipped up? These are our whoopie pies, and I made up a marshmallow buttercream to go inside them. Oh, my gosh. And then something just as delicious next door. Yes, those are our cinnamon streusel muffins. And everything we do, we consider ourselves a small batch bakery. So we bake in small batches. So there's always something fresh coming out. And you're baking all day long just to keep this case as full as possible. As full as possible, yes. Oh, my gosh. Walking in here, people are sitting at the bar. And this isn't even the whole place. You want to take us on a tour and sure. tell me, you know, how often is this place filled? Absolutely. So it comes in waves. So okay. in the morning, we have our first wave of people. And then we just... Hope and pray it stays full all day long. So this is um, our grab-and-go station where they can come get fresh items so they don't have to feel like they have to go fast food all the time. Okay. We put salads and sandwiches in here every day. Nice. And then down here... This is a huge space, Deb. It is. It is. And everything in here is just a part of the community. So um, we try to cater to moms and families and our soldiers. And so pretty much anything we can do to make them feel at home. I was going to say this attach a patch wall is really, really cool. You said it's, a lot of your business is soldiers. A lot of our business is soldiers, and it's one of my favorite places in the bakery. And there'll be times I come down and there's just new patches on it. You started this just by having this space to kind of like operate your fudge business out of. Yes. That quickly changed. It quickly changed. And if you want fudge, you have to call and beg. So right. we don't have time to do much fudge anymore. Tell me why you wanted to make this a gathering place rather than just a fudge operation. Um, I just wanted people to be able to come in. If they're going to come in, and they're going to be at the bakery. I want to get to know them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, people have been coming in all morning long since they opened the doors at 6.30, um, and they're constantly talking to each other, meeting new people. It's honestly so refreshing to see because sometimes you walk into a coffee shop um, and it's just really quiet. This place is, I'm not going to say, it's not rowdy, but like very friendly <laughs> and loving here, guys. It's really neat. I love it. It's gotta be, there's always got to be somewhere for yeah. people mm -hmm. to go for community, and you found it in Radcliffe for us. I love that it's coffee and pastries because oftentimes sure. it's like a bar or something, but this is a, a I guess, more family-friendly mm -hmm. place that it's you could go. the safest bar in town, she yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Like take your